Hello, I'm Neil Thompson, and I'm conducting the Vienna Radio Symphony Orchestra in Nigel Clark's The Prophecies of Merlin, a wonderful symphony for violin and orchestra, sort of howled in Italy for the 21st century. It's music full of passion and color and drama, expertly played by Peter Shepard Scherdt and the Vienna Radio Symphony Orchestra. I hope you enjoy it. The Prophecies of Merlin came out of lockdown, really. Um, Peter um, Shepard Scarvid, the soloist on the disc, uh, contacted me, I think, about March, April, um, after the pandemic had hit. So Peter wrote to me basically saying, you know, let's not waste this year, let's not lose this year, let's try to find a way to be creative. We started to exchange letters and emails and texts about what we were going to do with the time, with the enforced idleness. I thought about it for a while and I went back to Peter and said, well, why don't we do something on a massive scale? Let me write a symphony with you as the violin soloist. Peter was excited about that idea. He suggested a subject, which I'd not known before, which was the prophecies of Merlin. This is not the Merlin of magic and uh, enchantment and King Arthur. This is the Merlin um, who is a war-damaged, mentally enfeebled individual who had been fighting the Scots and then retreats to the Caledonian forest. It's heard that uh, this sort of famous warrior Merlin's in the wood and the Cumbrian um, king has him extracted from the forest and tries to help him become healthy again. It's at that moment when Merlin becomes healthy um, does he start to rant these extraordinary and dark uh, foreboding prophecies. Mountains will be leveled, rivers and streams will run red with blood. The prophecies just go on and on and on, all very bleak, but from a composer's point of view it's great material to think about to write music. So we had many conversations about where the violin would fit and what it would be doing. I've treated the violin as the, as basically Merlin, uh, the wild man of the wood battling the forest, which is the orchestra. Indeed, it's not even depicted as a soloist in this ensemble, but it's definitely the driving force, almost like a, a narrative drum machine, which propels the energy forward of that amazing musical theater. It's always been important from my point of view, um, the collaboration aspect of writing music. So it's been very nice now to work again with Neil and of course continue my journey um, with writing and exploring what can be done with the violin uh, through the talents of Peter. Neil found an extraordinary line through this piece because this is not a piece which is shaped by the soloist. This is a piece which is shaped by the genius of the conductor who has to find the dramatic arc, the landscapes, the mountains, the rivers, the lakes and floods in which the soloist walks their rather lonely way sometimes. Also part of the collaboration uh, was working with the Vienna Radio Symphony Orchestra, having a whole orchestral palette where I could really you know, create moments of um, extreme beauty, um, uh, meditative music, I suppose, at certain points, and almost using uh, the orchestra as a sort of brutal weapon, if you like, at certain points. There was never any suggestion that they were just doing a job. Every player in the orchestra, from soloists through to sections, contributed to the musical drama and actually taught us a lot about the piece and what it was doing. I think what, from a composer's point of view, it's been very interesting for me to explore extremes. And I remember quite early on, Peter saying, that's great, you know, you could even be quieter, you know, get the strings to perhaps to play quieter at that point, or, you know, really take your time. And I think that advice early on uh, really stood me in good stead. It's been an amazing adventure for any violinist, but particularly this violinist to undertake, to be in at the beginning of what turned out to be an absolutely all-encompassing, dramatic piece of music has been a joy from start to finish. I think it's quite important to try and listen to the whole work in one big soundbite and probably not so much in easy chunks. And then I think you get a real feel of how the work develops and how the violin relates to the orchestra. Mm -hmm. 